friends, it's Tiffany, and thanks for stopping by the studio today to learn a little bit about the 12 by 12 paper taker. So the 12 by 12 paper taker was born after we introduced the A4 and a half by 11 paper taker, and everyone said, I love that. This is what came into being. So the 12 by 12 paper taker, like all the Totally Tiffany brand products, is actually bigger than 12 by 12. So it's 12 and three quarters across, it's 13 inches tall, it's two inches wide. It does have the side handle and the top handle, and it's also got the big label pocket on the side. Okay, those are all the details. What are you gonna put in your 12 by 12 paper taker? Oh, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit in your lowest tote. I'll test that out before the video's over. So the obvious thing to put in a 12 by 12 paper taker, you know it, 12 by 12 paper. So of course it's gonna fit your 12 by 12 paper. It's even gonna fit the 12 by 12 paper that has that half inch or one inch border along the top, right? So it is longer, it's is taller than it is wide to accommodate that. It is going to work with our 12 by 12 tab divider pockets, no problem. Also gonna work with the 12 by 12 paper storage box dividers. So if you're using any of those products, they're gonna integrate right into your 12 by 12 paper taker as well. So ideal for paper. Big question everyone asks me, how many sheets of paper will it hold? Somewhere between 300 sheets of paper and 150 sheets of cardstock. So we all know paper is very thin. Some brands of cardstock are really thick. So it just all depends on how thick of cardstock you're using and how thin of paper you're using. Somewhere around 300 sheets of paper, 150 sheets of cardstock. Okay, so we got the basics, right? We're gonna use it for paper. What else is gonna fit in there? Things like vinyl rolls. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rolls of vinyl in here. So if you are not a vinyl junkie, you don't have a ton of it to store, or if you like to travel with your vinyl, then the 12 by 12 paper taker is gonna be the perfect solution. Now I do have my um, vinyl rolls wrapped with vinyl roll sleeves, so those are gonna work perfectly for this as well. And you'll find links to all of those products in the description on the website if you're watching on the website, and also in the description on YouTube if you're watching there. So it's a great way to transport your vinyl rolls and keep them safe. Now, a lot of people use big um, 12 by 24 sheets of paper and they wanna roll that up. Same thing, roll it up just like it was a piece of vinyl uh, or a roll of vinyl, put that sleeve on it, you can carry it in here as well because you do have that extra length, 13 inches, so you're not gonna damage those rolls of paper either. So great for rolled goods, vinyl, paper, that type of thing. Of course, one of the things we're always struggling to organize are stencils. So if you're using the 12 by 12 pockets, 12 by 12 stencils are gonna fit perfectly in the pockets. You're gonna be able to store them easily in the bag as well. Now remember with something like stencils, you can put multiple stencils in each pocket. If you need a little help getting your stencils organized, search the YouTube channel for the stencil organization video. There's some tips and tricks there to really maximizing your pocket storage. So it's great for that. It's perfect for project planning. Um, anything where you wanna gather those things together in that 12 by 12 dimension or have that little bit of extra space, you're gonna love this bag for that use. I know <laughs> one thing that I'm gonna get asked as soon as this, uh, as soon as you start really, I guess, seeing this bag is, will it fit my scrap rack pages? And so because I know you are out there waiting to find that out. The answer is sort of. So this is a scrap rack section. You'll notice if you're a scrap rack user, it does not have any dividers on it. So well, you'll be able to roll back your spinder and put it in the bag. And here's the trick to doing that. You wanna take the tray all the way out of the bag to do that and then put your pages in and roll your spinder back. Don't try to stuff your pages in the bag if that's what you're doing, because they'll just get crinkled up. This will also tell you if your, if your spinder is too thick to actually fit in the bag. So you can in fact use it to store or transport uh, sections from your scrap rack. It's a very tight fit in there. You gotta rotate your spinder all the way around to get the Velcro to close, but you definitely can do that. So. This is an easy way if you're gonna take this with you in your um, lowest tote, or if you wanted to store it, you know, the binders for the scrap rack pages are too big to store in your Calyx cube or your Recollections cube, then they become storable in that situation in this bag, but you cannot use the dividers when you're doing that. So while we're talking about other uses, let me just grab my lowest tote. 
here's our favorite girl Lois and let's see how well these fit in the Lois she's so handy isn't she so one two three Oh, four is going to be a tight squeeze. But you can do it. So you can get four of the 12 by 12 paper takers in your lowest tote. I think that's it. I think those are all the details that you need. The 12 by 12 paper taker, I'll just go through the dimensions one more time. Now, I'm giving you the interior dimensions. So remember, you've got this little trim along the edge that's gonna add a half an inch when you're trying to put it somewhere, so keep that in mind. But basically, you've got 12 and 3 quarters by 13 by two, handle on the side, handle on the top. You are gonna love the new 12 by 12 paper taker.